Good morning, brethren. The Lord bless you all in the mighty name of Jesus. We are grateful to God once more for another morning. Our scripture for today will be taken from the book of Hebrews, chapter 4, verse 16. Hebrews 4, 16. The Bible says, Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Hallelujah. Wow, I believe that this is a a scripture that I can call a trump card for the Christian, a joker. You know when you're playing cards and this is your winning card. This is actually the winning card for for us Christians. Hallelujah. The Bible says you come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Hallelujah. Uh, in previous uh, verses that spoken about, I've spoken about um, Jesus being our great high priest and going ahead of us. And he was qualified because he had no sin, has access to the Father, ever interceding on our behalf. And the Bible is now saying that because of that, we should receive boldness to go. Whoever we are, once you are a child of God, receive boldness to go before the throne. The greatest attack of the enemy is on our conscience. When you've done something wrong, when you think you're not righteous, when you just feel that you can never be adequate and there's nobody interceding for you, you have to go before the throne all by yourself. The Bible is now telling us that there's one who is Jesus Christ, the one who has access with interceding for us, he's gone ahead of us. You know, and because he has created the environment for mercy, environment for love, an environment for forgiveness, you know, the Bible is now saying because of that we should come boldly before the throne of grace because upon us we have the blood of jesus nothing should keep us what he tries to do is to remove you and prevent you from coming to that throne of grace when sin begins to speak louder than the voice of god in your life when weakness begins to speak louder when sickness begins to speak louder than the voice of god in your life the enemy is already having victory but it says in all those situations we should just know that somebody has gone ahead of us we should just come boldly before the throne of grace and we will find help i want to bless god for somebody's life this morning help is not far from you go before that throne of grace go boldly and the almighty god will show you his mercy he will show you his grace and his favor will never depart from your life and every desire of your heart according to his will will be answered by the almighty god through Jesus Christ, his son, in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.